welcome to the next episode on the Botsy server. This is me telling me you're here. So this is just the second episode on the server, but um, there's some some stuff that was lost due to the issues I had with my microphone's cable not working properly. So I'm going to give you just a lowdown of all that has happened so far. As you can see, I've got the wool armor. Um, I've gotten through a few of my advancements here, the bronze. Iron's been done. I haven't finished the steel yet. I, I have finished Make It All Steel. And I have also achieved diamonds. I found diamonds. I don't know if I actually show that in the other one because of the lost footage. But yeah, there's a few other things that I did find as well. So all we have not found as of yet is gold and the carb carbonado. And uh, that's, that's it for now. I'm really looking forward to getting that one. That's going to give me one heck of a nice pickaxe. I think I've got it set up that it's a uh, it's a diamond like pickaxe. So it's like Fortune Five, Unbreaking, Unbreaking Five. What was the last one? I think it was Efficiency Seven, which is like impossible in Minecraft normally, unless you use commands. So that's why this is very this is a very very special pickaxe that you're never. You're not going to get that thing ever again. So I'm getting really cold. I'm going to go down back downstairs there. To, uh, let me see if I can find my armor. So there's the chest plate from Iron Plate. And that's been pretty useful. I think the names were are, are very much RPG-like. That's what, I, what the aim was. So we've done a lot here. There's been a lot that I've been working away, just making the place look better. And I was originally working outside here. I was trying really, really hard to go and make a tower. And then I got distracted. I think I'm going to take out this too because I really don't like the look of it. It doesn't, it doesn't look that appealing to me. It, it, it kind of has a jarring look to it. I'd like to make it darker, to be honest. The tower, I'm going to get back to it. Those orange trees I've discovered, if you right click on them, you can actually collect oranges off them. I was quite impressed to know that. I don't know what you can do with the oranges, but there they are. Oh, I'm getting too cold, too cold, too cold. There's there's nothing really to show up here anyways, but down here, let's just get rid of this hyperthermia first. Uh, there we go, okay, all right, all right there. So I was working away through here as well, and I was thinking of making the, maybe this, like my own little area here, my wing. I, I'm not really sure if that's gonna, if it's gonna happen or not, so I'm just gonna hold off for now. But I thought it turned out pretty cool. Worked out very well. Nice old, looks very much like a proper medieval style tunnel, I thought. I worked through here and I made, I'm, I'm trying to make it look as, as like proper looking for, I'm not sure what you'd call this. It's, it's not exactly a fortress, but maybe a forward fort or something like that. And it, it looks, I'd say it works pretty good. It's cleaned up well. I even brought this out. Oh, yeah, there was a problem with the server a while back and I had to roll it back some. So there's a few things that have reverted back to previous. I dug this back so that the stone would show over here because I thought, you know, that looked probably a lot nicer. Just pull that back. And then I, I, I think last time I removed these just filled it in so that it looked a little bit nicer. And what else did I do? No, that's that's still the same. I don't remember anything else. Yeah, it looks better though. That looks a lot better. So um, I don't remember if I showed this in the previous episode, but I had put in these boxes here. No, I don't think I showed. There's a lot that's changed in the last, from the previous episode to this one. Like this little area here, these little lanterns here are actually pretty easy to make. It just requires some glass. You take a redstone torch and you can turn that actually into a candle. So you, that's pretty much how it's made. And then you use some chain, which also there's a recipe uh, to make chains. You gotta go from large chain to small chain for some weird reason. I guess that's just how the recipes kind of worked out. But I think it turned out really well. And I, I, re I really like the storage room. It has a very uh, authentic old medieval feel to it. That's pretty much like all Conquest Reforged is all about. It's all it's all medieval style. But yeah, that's so far where I'm at. I think Jordy is working on making where is it out here? 
I think he said it's to the south. He's he's making a path. I don't really honestly know what north and south is in this game anymore. Oh, there's north right there. Uh, what did Jordy say? I think he said that he was building it towards the, I think the north. So you got a path going over here. I'm going to put my hat back on. It's cold out here. It's winter. And does it look like he's working out here? I can't honestly tell. Oh, I see a fence post. Oh, that might be a piece of a tree. So I can't tell from this angle. But I know from somewhere he's he's built a path, or is building a path, that will go to... Uh, I think it's a mountain biome. No. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so he's currently working on it. Okay, it's getting too cold, so I gotta go back down below. Uh, what we're gonna be working on this episode primarily, we're gonna be finishing up this. I'm gonna finish up the tower there, and if I can, I'm going to go and try to go and get these into some proper walls. And I'm too cold again, I gotta get down below. But yeah, let's, uh, let's move on to that next clip. This is gonna be a little, a long time for me, a little bit of time for you. <laughs> Well, I thought I may as well give you guys a really quick update. I don't even honestly remember what I had said in the last clip. I think I had said basically that I'd be working away at this and turning this into a proper base. And there was some other stuff I was going to do. Uh, I by mistake picked up Jordy's gold ore. And now I have... <laughs> it automatically gave me the gold rush advancement, which gives me some really good equipment. I mean, it's, it's not extremely amazing, but add some apple juice. But what I was really interested in, the fact that it was throwing me this, uh, the Ferrum's Unbreaking plus three and the Efficiency five, which is amazing. I'm, I'm, I mean, that's going to be faster than my other one, which was a, a steel, uh, I think it was Unbreaking three, Efficiency two. It'll be a lot faster than that one. And I have the ability to, to work on it. But, bah, Forget about that fact. I've been working on this place. So Jordy came back online and he was looking at this place and he was saying, you know, after looking at here, it looks really proper. It looks really cool. I've been cracking away at this place, making it like there's like the kitchen and there's actual cupboard space and stuff. I, just, I mean, I can't open it or anything, but uh, it's a spice rack and that's supposed to be a compass that is completely useless. I don't know why it's a... Uh, it's supposed to be like an elven compass or something. I'm pretty disappointed with it, to be honest. But yeah, I'm still working. These these are, I'm slowly clip, chipping away at. There's still some stuff left in them, but they'll be taken out. And uh, then I'm going to put a table here, and, as there is one there, and I'm going to put some chairs in it. And now Jordy suggests that we go and put right here the same kind of archway as over here, and then put the proper stairs up. And I think... I, I completely agree with them. It's going to look really cool. I'm excited about that. That's going to that's going to be good. So that's what we're doing there. And I was amazed that I can make actually a proper water trough thing. I'm still contemplating if maybe I should make it out of wood instead. I'm I'm not absolutely sure. But also, there's yes, some other stuff that I've worked on. I've made the room in here. I got myself some wine. Made some wine. I don't know what you call it. Area for snacking. What, what do you call it? Wine racks? And I got a table in here. I haven't put any chairs yet. I found out that I can change the color of the bed. So at some point I'm going to do that as well. Yeah, kind of simple looking. I haven't done anything else here. Eventually maybe I might add some more rooms or something. But I'm going down. I, I can also actually make uh, knives and stuff that, that can sit on top of here. And I'm, I'm thinking of doing that. Um... On this side, I was thinking of putting some chairs, but I'm not sure how possible that is to do because like, I take away that right there and it looks really odd. So that, that's what's behind this and it's the exact same as this side over here. So I thought that was a bit too odd looking to be honest. So I just decided, let's just cover it up. It looks nice that way. But unfortunately, I can't put any like, stools in front of it, which disappoints me a little. That's okay. That's what tables are for. So I don't remember if I showed you guys this, but that's been all done. I'm still contemplating where exactly I, I, I need to put somewhere in here a crafting bench because it's kind of frustrating, a little bit annoying to not have a crafting bench in here. 
So um, I want it to be easily accessible from any location. So if I'm right here, I should be able to access just about any spot. So I was thinking, it just, it looks odd being right here, but it's really useful just having it straight there in the center. So although it looks odd, just sitting there like that, I'm very tempted to leave it there regardless, just because of how useful that will be. Ah, uh, I don't know. For it, it's useful as it is, but that's annoying, isn't it? I just I don't know what to do. It, it this. Uh, I wanted. Uh, you know what? Although it might be useful, I'd prefer. I'd prefer it not to be in there because, you know, there's a the thing that I remember Guild Wars 2 did. They spread things around so that people would not stick it all in one spot. So you wouldn't see, uh, you wouldn't see certain people for certain things like, let's say, uh, crafting benches uh, in the same location where you'd buy goods. They would spread them apart so that there would be more movement on the server. And that's the same thing you can do with this game here. So get there to be more movement, to see more rooms, you put things in different spots. In theory, you could make a single room that's very tiny, holding all of your stuff all in one spot, and you'd never move. Nothing would ever change. Rooms would never seem to be... I, I'm sure you guys get my point. I'm going on a bit of a rant. <laughs> Jordy's getting this out darn quick. Wow. So yeah, you're going to finish that, that up there. I have a tower that needs to be still worked on, and I haven't. Something interesting. Those are the, These are the grapevines I discovered. We're able to... Oh, it's just on the other side. Whew. That scared me for a moment. But uh, I've discovered that... Oh, gosh. Come on. There we go. What the There's a block missing? Yeah, there's a few things I've discovered about about these. Uh, the like you can eat the grapes and you can eat the oranges. You can also turn the grapes into into wine in this game, which I'm pretty excited about. And as long as this is, I have continued to eat the oranges, even though they're they're a pretty small food source. But I mean, they're just so easily accessible. What's up with this? Is it like, was there an explosion here? I don't remember there being an explosion here. Oh, I know what happened. The grapevines ate right into the wall. How odd. More grapes. Okay, I gotta fix that. So I'm gonna be right back and come back to that. So what am I gonna be... Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that there. It needs to be there. We're gonna get mobs in here otherwise. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish building up these walls. Uh, I wanna tear that down and put on some, I think they're called balustrades. And I wanna finish the tower and might help Jordi out later on. And I think in the next episode, I have enough redstone that I should actually be able to start making farms. That's something I'm really, really looking forward to. So I'm just going to put these down because I want these to continue to grow quickly. And I realized the only thing I really need, like I also wanted to go and get myself the, what, what do you call it, enchanting table. So that's also really exciting, the fact that I've got those two diamonds still in storage. Oh, all I just need is some leather, and then I can do that. Oh, heck, maybe I might... Let's see if I can do that. Well, I'm going to be like super honest with you guys. <laughs> I got really distracted. So where where are we at here? Um, Jordy said something about, hey, we could do this, Talamir. Check this out. Just dig this up and make this an entire, you know, a proper three passage, kind of like down here. So we did it. <laughs> That's done. It's completely done. We've completely redone this. We backed everything out, replaced a bunch of torches with these nice little lamps here. Uh, dug through here and made a little bit of space. I don't know what we're going to do next with this, but we're going to definitely do something with this back here. And we dug through there as well. Oh, Jordy blocked up the tree room. Yeah, well, not a big deal. And I also died, so I lost some levels. 
unfortunately. But I do have the leather, and I think, I mean, that was a long time ago for me at least that I mentioned the enchanting table, but I do have the paper there, which means right now I should be in theory able to make the entire, yep, yeah, there's, there's the two diamonds, there's, I hate keep losing, yeah, agreed. Yeah, I got everything. I got everything I need to go and make that enchanting table. And I mean, in previous games that I've played, played with Jordy, it's not been easy. It's been really hard to make enchanting tables. But here it is. First enchanting table. I really should have made like a proper achievement for making the enchanting table. Like maybe giving like two or three bookshelves or something like that. That would have been a really good idea. And it would have felt really nice to be able to do that. Yeah, we need, well, <laughs> just made one. Let's get this, let's get this puppy down. Well, no, you know what? I'm not gonna put that down yet. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a room specifically dedicated to it and we'll go from there. Well, this is my decision. Uh, <laughs> I thought it would be best to put it down a long hallway. It makes you feel like you're going somewhere special. And so far it is the tunnel that is the most interesting looking. Um, it's not as big as this one, but this goes right down to the mines, and I feel like mm, it just doesn't work as well. I mean, it's mines. All mines down there. And this one down here is also a mining tunnel, um, but it's too close. There's, It's just way too tight in there, so I might make that into something else somewhere in the future, or maybe Jordy might. I was thinking of maybe putting a room for it on the sides, but I was thinking, you know what? There's always possibilities for like advancing my room right here continuing to dig it down here along the like the little path here and maybe eventually I might put some doors in here as well as a secondary exit but at the moment that's because of that I, I would think the same thing Jordy might eventually do that so I'm gonna leave those two sections alone and we're just gonna continue to work away at those potentially in the future I would prefer to just leave them is what I'm saying as space what I want to do is I love building libraries. That is one of my favorite things to do. So I went and I made this little area right here. What the? That's not. Why is Conquest Reforged taking over my... What's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why, but it's, it's just not liking it for some reason. That's... Okay, well, that's fine. So we've got a weird table. I wanted it to be a research bench, not look like a really high, t uh, like low tech medieval, whatever. Because I'm, I'm a scientist with um, with arrows in me. <laughs> I am a scientist, so it's supposed to look like that. So that's that's like my whole theme here. You're kind of like scientists stuck in a medieval world, and you're doing what you can with what you got. So I guess you know what you've got a modern looking book on a medieval looking table. Eh. I'll, I'll, I'll work on that in a bit. But regardless of that, putting that aside, what I want to do is I want to dig this out further. It probably will involve me digging up higher or even potentially lower, depending on how things go. This may end up turning into maybe a very large set of stairs. I can't remember what they're called. Like uh, those side stairs, they go off to the side and then they go on down. There's, there's definitely a name for them, I just can't remember. And and that's one possibility if it's a big enough library which being this would actually be the actual ceiling and the floor would be probably maybe down as much as 10 blocks from this point i really like that idea and ah there's so many library design like that words library designs out there as well and uh there's one that i particularly like which is very common same one used in things like uh Oh, I always reference Guild Wars 2, but oh, what's going on there? That's not right. One side is different from the other. So you got one, two, three, four. Oh, this one's this one's in its wrong place. That that must be it. Yeah, there we go. That's fixed. Same on that side. No, nope, that's good. Okay, I don't. <laughs> there was a definite chunk issue. What what did Jordy just say? May have got myself lost in the mine shaft again. Oops. But uh, okay. 
Uh, I think I'm just about out of time for this episode, to be honest. There's some other stuff that I still wanted to do, but... I, I'm, uh, I'm, I've gotten a lot accomplished, I believe, in this episode. And I think I'm going to have to move on to the next episode anyways. Because the next episode is all going to be dedicated to redstone devices. A lot of it is going to be farms. But farms are, are a necessity. New parts of it. Ooh, okay. But uh, where am I going to put that? Where am I going to put all these redstone devices? I'm thinking I might put them down that way. Or maybe I'll put them down this way. There's a lot of space down this way. If I could put them down there... Or, yeah, there's not enough room over there. But there's lots of space this way, so I might do it that way. All right, well, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. Uh, it's turned out pretty cool. I'm really happy with, with how it looks here, so let's end it here. Thank you guys all for watching another episode on the Lost, Lostcraft, Lostcraft, Bot C server. If you liked the episode, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. See you guys all in the next episode. Bye.